Uh huh. Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Strawberry letter. Subject: Women telling too much at the funeral. Dear Stephen Ooh. Shirley, <laughs> uh, yeah, my husband passed away in April of this year. Uh, at the funeral, two females approached my children, stating that they have other siblings. My children were shocked and later told me about it, and I was extremely upset. I did not know about the other children. In the past, I questioned my husband and asked him if he was having an affair, and he said no. Well, I knew he was not telling the truth, but I did not have proof. He always paid the bills in our home and took care of our children, so I did not push the issue anymore. My question is this. Why would these women destroy children's lives by telling them about the other children at their father's funeral? Are they just trying to disgrace their family or just disrespect their mother? I never met the two women, but if they had some issues, they should have approached me and not my children. What kind of women would do something like this at a funeral? My children are now receiving counseling. Well, first, very sorry for your loss. Um, Our our condolences for your loss. And I don't care if it was at a funeral, a wedding, a bar mitzvah, whatever the occasion. There, there just is no good time to approach somebody with devastating news like this. And I see why your children are in counseling. I mean, this is a life-changing situation here. It, c- it can be shocking, and obviously it was. I mean, they're trying to grieve their father right now, and here come these crazy women. Yeah, they were out of order, and I believe they did come not to pay their respects to your late husband, but to disrespect you and your kids. They wanted to disrupt. They wanted to cause trouble. And and you are right. They should have come to you. Um, You know, do some investigating. Find out who the kids are and all of that. And um, at some point, I guess they're going to have to meet. Um, But hopefully the counseling is doing what it's supposed to do. And, uh, you know, things like this happen in families all the time. It happened to me. They'll get through it. Um, and, and they'll be fine, but it is shocking and it is devastating. And I'm Shirley, glad what you, you put mean them in. It counseling. happened to you. I told you that. No, you ain't not, told at what? A, not, not at the funeral, but I found out when I was 18 that I had another brother. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You, I thought it was you devastating. Mean it at the funeral. No, 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 no. Just finding out you have other siblings. That's devastating. Yes, it's devastating. Okay. <laughs> To, to me and my mom, it was extremely devastating. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I see what you're saying. Okay. But they'll be fine. Steve, your turn. Okay. Uh, women telling too much at the funeral. Uh, two females approach my children stating that they have other siblings. Uh, my children were shocked and later told me about it. I was extremely upset. I didn't know about the other children in the past. I questioned my husband and asked him if he was having an affair. He said no. First of all, uh, let's let this be a lesson to everyone. What? (laughs) Say it. All the men out there, listen. Mm -hmm. You must learn from this man and his death. He took the lie to the grave. (laughs) You must take your lie. To the grave. Is he your role model? <laughs> well, right now he's my hero. Wow. You know what? Wow. He took that lie to the grave, which is my suggestion. If you're going to lie, uh-huh. ride your lie all the way out. Take it to the grave. Now, see, he ain't got to deal with it. Mm. Why? Because he took it to his right. grave. Oh, she's gotta deal with it. Now, here's the problem. The hateful part is these two helpers took yes. this to them kids. Yes. They should have came to the woman if they was woman enough. But here's the other problem in it. I guess I should leave that as a cliffhanger, huh? Yes, yes. Make them wait. Okay, cliffhanger. I'll make you wait. I'm going to show you something in the letter that Shirley uh, has probably seen. Mm-hmm. But because Shirley's a very kind and sweet person, she didn't bring it to your attention. I have no problem bringing <laughs> I'll leave such that a thing. All out. of that to you. Oh, <laughs> glory to God! You're here for That's it. That's what you do. Please, no. <laughs> but I'm very proud of this man. Oh, uh, who I'll rode stop that line that. all the way. I'm not proud of what he did. <laughs> but when you hear me and say, "Take it to the grave," he actually took it to the grave. <sighs> yeah, and he's dead. 
We'll be back. Well, that's what happened. You can't die and you can't yeah. get in the grave not dead. 